How's it going, people? It's time for another video. I'm still waiting on some parts, as ever. It always seems to be the case for me. It's, um, yeah, it just is what it is. Just waiting for parts to arrive to make some more videos. I have been riding, but quite honestly, I moaned about it being so cold through winter and I couldn't ride that it's now too hot and I can't be asked to film while I'm riding, especially if I'm not going anywhere special. So what I'm going to do today is share a couple of tips um, with you about your Harley that you probably should know. I'm doing it on my Road Glide, um, but I do know they transfer over to a lot of other Harley Davidson models, especially a Street Glide, because it's almost exactly the same. Um, but there is ways and means to do the same thing on other models from the sports all the way up to the touring models. So yeah, let's check it out. Am I a bad guy? I put her away dirty. Sorry. Mm, looks like I'll be cleaning tomorrow. Okay, so the first useful tip of the evening is transport mode. If you train with your bike or like me, you go on trips that involve a journey on a ferry, this one is important. Otherwise, the whole time you're transporting your bike, whether it be trailer, uh, hauler or ferry, your alarm will be going off. One, annoying as shit for everybody. Not just you, everybody thinks you're a prick. But secondly, if it's for a long time, your battery will almost certainly be flat. So again, I'm only showing you my bike, but I know it does cross over into the other Harley Davidson bikes with alarms. So let's see if we can go ahead and get this bad boy in transport mode. Simple, really simple. Effectively, we switch the ignition on for less than five seconds. The security light comes on, you need to switch it back off before the light goes out and then hit and hold both indicators. You should get three flashes from the indicators. It means your bike is in transport mode. Let's give it a go. So it's on, security light, off, both indicators. Move that and go. Two, three. Three flashes means it's in transport mode. It's ready to go. That alarm will not go off. It doesn't matter how much you rock the bike or give it the beans. It's in transport. You're good to go, people. Start your road trip. Uh, useful tip number two is how to find out your pin when your key fob works, if you don't know it. And also how to reset it if you want to change the number to a more memorable number, I suppose. Something you can remember in case you're out and about near or far from home. You lose your fob, battery in your fob runs out, whatever reason. You know the code, you can still start your bike and get home. Because every uh, EFI or alarmed um, Harley Davidson from the factory since, I don't know, 2006 maybe, I think, comes fitted with this pin system. So if you do lose your fob, or any bike with a fob, if you do lose your fob, you can get into your bike, you can start, you can get home, and then you can get charged through the eyeballs for a new fob from Harley Davidson. Cheers, then. But this is a real simple thing to do as well. So, can you, I don't know if you can see from there, let's see if we can get a better angle. Wait there, wait there. Right then. Hi. If you've got your fob, this starts with, and you want to find out your pin. Hang on, let's start that first. If you want to find out your pin, start like this. It starts with ignition button off, central button on, and then you cycle them off. One, two, three, four, five. Up there on the switch. Left indicator twice, one, two, and down here on the screen, it will say enter pin, which is lovely, but if you don't know the pin, you go back up here to the right indicator, boom. Because you've got your fob, it will tell you what your pin is. Now, mine's set factory, one, two, three, four, five, and you see the number one flashing? That means we can now change that pin to whatever we want. So, using your left indicator, Click it and it'll go up. Should do. There you go. Two, three, four. Smashing. So you want your. I want my first number as a four. 
and then I'm going to move my second number. So I use my right indicator to move over. And I want that to be a 9. So I'm going to press the left indicator all the way up to number 9. Wicked. Back to the right indicator to move across. So I'm on the third number. And I want that to be a 4. So I hit my left indicator until that goes up to 4. Focus, you piece of shit. Right indicator to move to the next number, which is currently a 4. I want that to be a 9. Wicked. There we go. Move over once more using the right indicator. I'm going to have that be a 4 because I like repeating patterns. Wicked. So my, my pin is now 49494. So I want that to enter. So I'm going to click through with my right once more so it's flashing on the front. I'm going to hit the old uh, kill switch. I'm going to turn her off. That resets it. And boom, my pen is now set at 49494. Now, it just turns itself off. Now, were I to lose my key fob or the battery run out, I know that my pen is 49494. And all I'll have to do is turn the switch. It'll have a little moan because the key fob's not near it or it's not registering the key fob. And it'll say enter a pin and use the same process. You change up and down the numbers with your left and you move to the right to the next number with your right indicator. Once you get through your once you get through your pin number, your bar can start up, no problem. And you're on your way. That is that's a tip, boys and girls. And if you didn't know that, I hope you do now, because that is a tip from me to you. And there we are, nice quick, easy video. Just a couple of things I think you probably should know if you own one of these, especially the chances of you losing your fob i mean most of us are quite careful but it does happen um i've had times when friends of mine have had their fobs and a uh, radio signal blocks it so they can't get their bike started because of interference which is pretty shit and um, also the batteries do run out especially if you haven't changed them you know if when you left it was a bit eh, but they, they can run out mid-ride because they're constantly communicating so the batteries do run out, you know, as with anything, they are fallible, batteries batteries die. So it's definitely worth knowing your pin, and it's even more worth knowing how to reset it, because if you don't, if your fob's not working, you can't find out what that pin is, you're in the shit. Once you reset your pin, you know exactly where you are. It's an easy job, easy job to get going again, get back on the road. Uh, transport, you may need it you may not like i say i take a couple of ferry trips a year on the bike we get over onto mainland europe and have a ride and some of the ferry crossings are seven eight hours on fairly the last time we went on fairly uh rocky sea so it would have definitely set the alarm off i would have definitely come back to a flat back tree and the people who were staying in the cabins nearest the footwell where my bike was the stairwell where my bike was sorry would have been well pissed off because it would have just been binging away all night in their ear so I think two things definitely worth knowing. I hope they've helped. I hope you've enjoyed watching. And I'll see you again. Be good, be safe.